Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are screwing around with old pipe lighters again. We have already established that all three of these lighters have, to varying degrees, singed and burned up the wick, at least the top portion. That one looks like it has burned it up so much that that top layer of soot or that dark tarry looking buildup or maybe even kind of looks like melted wax on this one that we just recently installed. You can see where it is kind of peeled off on the top, but it doesn't affect the way that it functions. The lighter works very well. But I got to looking at the Zippo website this weekend and some of the pictures of pipe inserts. And when I did that, I noticed that the wicks in those pictures were not coming up near as high as I have left these. We're going to leave the top of the wick right about at the halfway mark and not above it. Maybe even a little bit below. And let's just see whether that affects the mixture of oxygen and fuel, whether it allows our wick to remain a little wider, not burn up, as they appear prone to do, at least from what we have seen so far. So I'm going to get a hold of this wick, try not to cause any damage or nick up that windscreen. So it pulled up out of there just fine, a little bit further than we needed it to. I'm going to go ahead and snip this off. We've talked about the fact that I don't cut on old wicks that may or may not contain asbestos, but this wick is a generic copper braided Zippo type wick that was just bought off eBay in the last few years. A new product, not one that we should have to worry about asbestos being a part of. We got all the dirty singed up portion cut off and that's going to leave us with a shorter wick. It's definitely shorter than it was, although I think we're going to try to trim that just a little bit shorter. So we're going to go ahead and trim that a little bit more just because I definitely want that no higher than the halfway point and I think right now we're a little bit above that. So. wick straighten back in I think that's a much closer approximation to the way that the Zippo website had that wick sitting inside of the pipe insert than with that much taller wick that we had been employing so now that we've got that trimmed up to the length that we want it. Our lighter is fueled. We'll go ahead and close it up, let the fumes fill that back up for a moment before we try to relight it. 
And if this works, then we'll go ahead and trim off or shorten these other wicks just to see if we get better performance and better durability from our wicks by doing that. So again, this was the newest. I've been using this one for a long time and obviously much wear and soot, burnt up material there on the outside of the wick. And then this was the second new wick that we had put in this park insert as we had first put the copper braided style in it. Both of them singed and burned just the same as again this most recent Zippo insert that we had fueled up to use, changed the wick out. So now we'll just see whether this burns and singes like it has been. Lights right up. Have no problem sucking that down into a pipe. The Zippo insert doesn't really lend itself to you lighting something off the top of it like the open part does. But it appears that our wick is in much better condition. Did not singe near as quickly has not started glowing like we have seen those copper woven wicks do on multiple occasions. Some smoke, but surprisingly enough, very little singeing or burning to the wick. It does appear as though the position of the wick in that chimney or in that insert, the cutout of the pipe insert, may have some influence on exactly how much your wick burns up, singes, or whatever word you might want to use. Go ahead and see if we can cut off this park. So we got that end of it cut off going to put our wick quite a bit lower in that insert and of course we may have different variables at play here because this park insert is not closed off like the wick is in the first place so whether or not this helps the park insert as much as it did the Zippo we shall see lit on the second go and again does not appear to be singeing as quickly as it has in the past I'd say there is something to the height of the wick making a difference on how that wick wears and burns as it is used Stay tuned. Until next time.